Tinker's wheel is principally to convert water power into power for the stones. Water wheel can be made of wood, metal, anything from 10 foot diameter to 25, 30 feet. An overshot wheel means that the water comes in the top of the wheel, an undershot it comes underneath and the breast comes into the middle. The wheel, they say, is an overshot, but because the water goes over the top of the wheel and then goes onto the paddles, it is a pitch, what they call a pitch bag. Another clue is that the wheel turns anti-clockwise, not clockwise. If it was an overshot, the wheel would go clockwise. The water wheel turns by gravity and the weight of the water. The water is pumped up from the river to the mill pond if the water level is low. There is a natural supply, but in the summer that gets rather depleted so we pump water up from the, the river. In older times they would have just had to stop milling. From the mill pool water goes through a sluice into the mill race onto the water wheel which then turns. Once it's gone through the wheel it goes out through the tail race back into the river. The sluice gate is a metal or wooden gate which you can raise or lower to either increase the water flow or slow it down. The water wheel is the primary source of power. The water wheel turns and the main shaft turns other gearing to drive the stones and any other auxiliary equipment that you run off the mill. The power of the water wheel is roughly 30 horsepower and they say you want 8 horsepower per um, set of stones so consequently you're using about 25 horsepower for the mill, the grinding the millstones and the other 5 horsepower drives belts and auxiliary equipment. As things developed they upgraded the wheels Wooden ones can last as long as 80 years. All depends on how much use, how wet they get, and how they're looked after. But the normal is about 30 to 40.